Putin is the fourth president of Russia who changed the future of this country. We no longer see the shows of physical strength such as riding barefoot in this 67-year-old man. But we can see him in the hour-long press conference or telegraphs. He's always energetic, brave, and extremely disciplined. Today, let's get to know more about the most prominent leader of Russia. I'm Jane. Welcome back to Tall Famous 2. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin was born on the 7th day of October 1952 in Leningrad, now known as St. Petersburg, Russia. He was the third and last child born to his mother, Maria Solonova, worker at a factory, and to his father, Vladimir Spyrodonovic Putin, conscript in the Soviet Navy. Before Putin's birth, his parents lost two male children. Therefore, Putin was raised in the Leningrad as the only child of protective parents who did the best they could to keep him alive and well. Putin was born to working class parents in a house that was said to be infested with rats and smelled of cabbage stew. He was rebellious. Children carried flowers for teachers. Putin took a potted plant. He was caught with a knife in school and denied membership to the youth wing of the Soviet Communist Party. He called himself a hooligan, played the guitar, listened to Conchavan Beatles records. His father pushed him to take up boxing. A punch broke his nose and he gave up. Then he took up judo. It suited him better because he was short and thin. Putin says martial arts transformed his life, gave him a means of asserting himself. Upon graduation from high school, Putin was briefly held up at the crossroad of career choice. The ambitious young man who wanted to be a sailor, pilot, and intelligent officer finally settled for the last choice. Background checks carried out by the aspiring intelligence officer revealed that he could have to complete college, preferably with a degree in law before becoming the officer he wants to be. Thus began Putin's preparation for admission into the law department of Leningrad State University, where he started and graduated in 1975. After graduating from Leningrad State University, Putin entered the government-run intelligence agency KGB, where he worked and served in various capacity. His ability to get things done earned him a promotion to the position of lieutenant colonel and thereafter senior assistant to the head of the department in the intelligence office. Subsequent and recovery engagements saw Putin travel back to his birthplace, Leningrad, where he gained appointed to Leningrad State University as rector who handled international relations. He concurrently held the function with the position of deputy chairman of the St. Petersburg city government. Putin eventually resigned from the KGB and got involved in political affairs of the country. The ex undercover agent with good track record moved to Moscow in 1996 and secured his first political appointment as deputy chief of the Presidential Property Management Directorate. His political career rose rapidly within two years as he was appointed to the key roles which include Deputy Chief of Staff of the Presidential Executive Office, Chief of Main Control Directorate, Director of the Federal Security Service and Secretary of Security Council of the Russian Federation. All through the political appointment leader was known about Putin other than his conscientious work and loyalty to his predecessors. These qualities, among others, made then the president of Russia, Boris Yeltsin, appoint him as prime minister of Russia in 1999. It wasn't long before an alien Boris Yeltsin stepped down as president, paving way for Putin to become acting president in December 1999.
During his first tenure as president, the Russian economy grew for eight straight years, with GDP measured by purchasing power increasing by 72%, real income increased by a factor of 2.5. Real wages more than tripled, unemployment and poverty more than halved, and the Russian self-assessed life satisfaction rose significantly. Their growth was a result of a fivefold increase in the price of oil and gas, which constitute the majority of Russian exports, recovery from the post-communist depression and financial crisis, a rise in foreign investment and Putin economic and fiscal policies. Putin served as Prime Minister under Dmitry Medvedev from 2008 to 2012 where he oversaw large-scale military reform and policy reform. In 2012, Putin started a third term as president and won with 64% of the vote. Falling oil prices coupled with international sanctions imposed at the beginning of 2014 after Russia's annexation of Crimea and military intervention in eastern Ukraine led to GDP shrinking by 3.7% in 2015. Though the Russian economy rebounded in 2016 with 0.3% GDP growth and the recession officially ended. Development under Putin has included the construction of pipelines, the restoration of the satellite navigation system Glonis, and the building of infrastructure for international events such as the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi. Putin gained 76% of the vote in the 2018 election and was re-elected for a six-year term that would end in 2024. Vladimir Putin has been married just once. Putin met his wife Lyudmila Skepnevar after she was introduced to him by his best friend Sergei Pavlovich Rodugin in the early 1980s. The duo date for months before getting married on the 28th of July 1983. Their relationship was blessed with two daughters, Maria born 1985 and Katerina born 1986. The daughters were for privacy concerns named after their paternal and maternal grandmothers and do not bear Putin's famous surname. Putin and his wife stay married for 30 years before announcing their plans of Amy Catholic getting divorced in 2013. Putin is conserved politicians whose loner tendencies were evident in his choice of non-team sports judo. In the same light, he rose to the very top of his career by exceedingly faring well in positions that require little collaboration. His daily routine includes sleeping and waking up late, having breakfast at noon, two hours of swimming and a few hours of working out before attending to official duties in the early hours of an afternoon. Although a doctored photo of Putin seemingly captured him in riding a beer, there are a number of real-life photos that pros Putin's status as one of the world's most feared and respected politicians. They include riding a horse without wearing clothes and gear in cold weather, participating in daredevil hunting, top-notch combat prowess as a black belt karate master, swimming in 